So we back again and in this video we're gonna be looking at part two of some soccer bass rhythms. So picking up from the last video where we looked at two uh, different uh, soccer bass rhythms and how we could find different ways of playing them. Whether we play each rhythm separately or we combine both of them to make a bass sign. And then we also have the option of just using root notes, using one and five, or maybe even using card tones. So we're gonna be doing the same thing today, um, with a different rhythm, a different card progression, just so you could see like some different examples of the same concept. So the first rhythm that we can look at is this. Let me get that my drum groove here. So we got. Simple rhythm. And what we're gonna do with this rhythm, we're gonna play this rhythm over a four six five chord progression in the key of C. So those chords will be F major, A minor, and G major. So the last example we did was actually in C major too. We just changed in around. Well, we just have a different chord progression, and I'm just coming in a different order uh, this time. So we have. Last time. So already just playing simply just a root note with that rhythm. That actually got a nice like feel and uh, groove there already. So we can do the same thing, the same concept as last time. We're taking the same rhythm and we just finding different ways of playing it. So instead of playing all the notes there on the root note, technically we can still play the root note, we can just play one of the notes up an octave. So we can have So just putting one note up the octave instead to see how that would sound. So it's as simple as that. Some people might prefer to just play the root note. Some people might want to go with the octave. Some people might want to add in like a five, use the full card tones. Um, it's essentially just up to your personal preference and how you interpret the rhythm over those uh, card changes. So now what you can do, you can just quickly recap uh, one of the rhythms that we did in the last video. And if you didn't check the video, be sure to go and check it out. Um, because I can be combining this rhythm that we did today with that rhythm to create a bass line. So the rhythm from last week that I can be using is this one. Try it with one and five. Mm -hmm. 
en cartoons. Then we can try uh, one more that we didn't do in the last video. We can try using the octaves. So no friend there, we're looking at combining both of them together. Not playing like a full um progression with just one rhythm. We can look at combining both rhythms um in the same groove. So we got So that was an example of a bass line that you could create combining two different rhythms together. So you can just do one more uh, variation of that and I can use implement some cartoons into the groove. One more thing. So that's essentially it. So the same thing that we did last, we took the same concept. We just um, implemented a different chord progression with the addition of a new rhythm. So we just taking whatever rhythm it is that we have and we're just displacing it across our chord progression. Uh, we could either use, use root notes, we could use at the end of one and five, you could use chord tones, you could implement using some octaves. It's up to your own personal preference at the end of the day. So I hope you took away something from well this lesson and the one before uh, dealing with our soca bass rhythms. Um, you might do maybe a third one. You will see how things go, but that's it for today. Um, be sure to check out the last video if you didn't um, watch it already. And we got all our social media pages linked down in the description. So make sure you follow and you stay tuned with what will be going on. So until next time, whenever that may be, we signing out.